Happy Tuesday. Now, today's video is going to be a short one, but boy, have I been looking forward to it. Sometimes the gods just smile and give you everything you need. And that's what's happened today. But before we go into who the biggest globe hero is, let's see how Dell's doing. For those who don't know, Dell is a flat earther who opened his own school called Shed Rage High. Dell, um, what have you been doing with the kids this week? Teaching them utter lunacy. I bet you have. Now, Dell has been kind enough to let a documentary team into his school to observe him teaching some of the lessons. Let's see how he got on yesterday, shall we? Nine or one a.m. A year seven boy is twenty seconds late. Dell is not impressed and won't let him in the classroom. It's too late. People at you, Sonny boy, are fucked. 10 a.m. Dell is feeding back to his mathematics class and is not impressed. You get an equation full of assumptions because you're a fucking dingbat. 11 a.m. Dell takes some time out of his day to teach a music lesson. You can, you know, play your wee fucking flute all you like, thinking you're in with some group. 12 p.m. Dell goes into a religious studies class and sets them straight. The globe religion is over. It's kaput. 1pm. Dell gives some encouragement to a pupil who's struggling in his French lessons. Your language is absolutely useless. 2pm. Dell starts making funny faces at the kids in the middle of an exam to try and put them off. <laughs> Now I promise, you're going to love what's coming up now, but we need a bit of context. Remember this from the last video. Now, at 0.2 centimetres per metre, that means if you put your head down at the start of a 100 metre race, by the time the sprinters cross the finishing line, you won't be able to see anything below their ankles. Now this was all based around this experiment. The book out of place, which you can see here. So as she reaches down, the book and her shoes dis where a certain flat earther said that the earth wasn't curved, what actually happened was, when something moved away from us, it just appeared to disappear from the bottom up due to some made up physics called the angle of attack. Now I called him out on that and asked him to prove it on a 100 metre racetrack. Well guys, as promised, I've managed to get onto the, uh, onto the racetrack. Uh... And enter our hero, flat earth debate team member, Ranty Flat Earth. At the crack of dawn on Sunday, he live streamed this from a 100 metre racetrack just to prove me right. And he brought two friends with him. So there we have Conspiracy Cats and Simon Dan. Just in case there was any confusion, I, I was the egg. I was quite popular with the birds as well. Piss off, if you go near my thing, seagull, get to the toss. I think it's uh, been left its dinner out. He's going after Conspiracy Cats there. This gets so good. So he leaves me and Simon down at one end of the track and he goes to the finish line. See? So here we are at the finishing line. Now at the finish line, he's going to put his P1000 on the floor. He's going to take a picture of me. I'm going to take a picture of Simon Dan. And if this whole angle of attack thing is right, you shouldn't be able to see the egg and the little Buddha because we're too small. We should be vanished, just like that book. Hmm. And now all we need to do is take some uh, take some photographs i suppose and show you what i've got so just bear with me whilst to set my camera up so before we see his results let's remind ourselves of how monumental his achievements have been so far number one he's the man who filmed a boat going over the horizon we'll see some of that later on number two he's got up at the crack of dawn on a sunday morning to go to a hundred meter racetrack to film something that i've requested to prove me right is there anything else he could have done to make this situation worse. <laughs> yeah, there is. You see, I was watching this live stream and for some reason he accidentally made me a moderator on his own channel. Yeah, so Flat Earth or Anti Flat Earth, the guy who filmed the boat going over the horizon with the P1000, the guy that's about to disprove the angle of attack with the P1000, then makes me, a recognised Globe Earther, a moderator in his own chat box. Now, did I A, take the mature approach and just watch the stream? Or did I B, start kicking flat earthers out of his own channel? <laughs> yeah, 
you've guessed it. This guy, Russ McGarry, he was the first to go. But at least you can tell from the screenshot, I did warn him. Now, while I was having fun kicking people out around his comment section, he actually took the photograph. Now, let's have a look at the results. Do we think that we'll actually see things disappearing from the bottom? Let's have a look. And we're already getting some inferior mirages, although we're not losing any of the of the actual target. No, Ranty, we weren't losing any of the actual target. Nothing was disappearing from the bottom up. Totally proving my point and disproving this angle of attack nonsense. This is worth listening to just another couple of times. Well, we're not losing any of the of the actual target. Well, we're not losing any of the of the actual target. Now, given the fact that Ranty was actually live streaming this, this put him in a bit of a pickle. Um, what could he do to get out of it? Is there anything he could have done? So that's from 100 metres away. So uh, just to be sure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to lane one and lane eight. I'm going to repeat the same um, shot. Yeah, so in a little bit of panic and desperation, he decides to take the same shot from lane eight and the same shot from lane one. Maybe that will make things disappear from the bottom up. Who knows? But it took a while before we got to see the pictures. Because between you and me, I think he had a medical problem. I could hear him talking to the doctor in the background. Have a listen. That's my ring. I'll show you it when I go back. But it looks larger, more stretched than it should be. Oof! God, that was off camera. Um, anyway, obviously the pictures took in lane one and the pictures taken in lane eight didn't show any difference, no disappearance from the bottom up. He got a little bit disheartened, but fair play to him, at least he was honest about it. This is how he ended. Right, so, here we have Conspiracy Cats and Sam and Dan yet again. They're enjoying themselves here. Having a good day out at the minute. Because this test isn't going to plan. Ranty, two things we need to know. One, I owe you some of my shill money for proving the globe. Thank you. Number two, that little ditty I did at the end of the last video saying how good you were at proving the globe, you've made me turn it into a full song. It's going to be at the very end of this video. But anyway, you weren't the only person to throw themselves in my lap this week. Let's have a look at Chatbox Travels. Okay, so first up is this guy. He wasn't happy when he saw a comment of mine saying that the Flat Earth Debate Show wasn't a place for proper debate. Good conspiracy thoughts. If it's not a channel for sensible debate, then what you what you're here for? But I'm going to make you a deal. I will debate you without the moot button. But if I win, then I, I keep my channel, and you got to delete yours, and and you won't do it because you're a wanker. And uh, and I hate I hate you. I hate you. Uh, I love you really. Come and come and debate me, and the loser deletes their channel. Well, I looked at this guy's channel, and it was shit. We could do with having it deleted. So here's what I said. So to make sure it was actually going to be a proper debate, and not just him licking Rice Krispies up off the carpet while I was speaking, I asked him, would he actually prove anything about the Flat Earth? And then I got the typical response. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be proving anything, because why should I? I'm just going to say, prove the globe, and I'm going to say, water's level, do your research. Um, I ain't going to prove nothing about the Flat Earth, but, but I'll throw in some evidence of Bigfoot existed before you delete your channel. I'm off now to go and scrape my knuckles on a cheese grater. Typical response, but by this point, I was interested, especially given the fact that this guy's got the IQ of the burnt bits of a cheese toasty. So, this was my response. So here, I think I was very fair. I gave him a big chunk of the stuff I was going to be bringing. Yes, I was going to talk about the pictures and the, the live stream, which he would have to debunk. I was going to talk about star trails, which he would have to debunk. I was going to talk about seismic waves and how they prove the globe, which he would have to debunk. And Coriolis and the video of boats going over the horizon. Thank you very much, Ranty, etc, etc. And I made it clear to him that unless he could debunk those, he loses. I think I was very fair. But then he thumped out this reply on his keyboard. No, I won't be proving anything at all. I, I just want you to delete your channel without having to earn it. Then I got immature and called him a chicken. But I think at this point I was justified. And then he backpedalled completely, 
out of the debate, saying he will not debate me if I was going to include anything in the debate about space or the ISS, because after all, he can't debunk it. What a chicken. So, Colorado Bucket Bean, or whatever your name is, you get to join Nathan, Dean, and Digital Plague on the shelf of shame. Your crime was being a coward. Now, what could I use to represent you on the shelf of shame? And I thought, given the fact that you backed out, a pair of balls. Next comment. Hello, it's me again, Colorado Bingy Bong. I'm just here to tell you that I don't believe anything about space but I do have a video of Bigfoot and I can prove it. Now this is classic. In the middle of our bit of head to head, what he's saying on one hand is that everything about NASA is fake because I just don't believe the videos. But on the other hand, he's saying that this video which is the Patty video he talks about is absolute rock solid evidence of Bigfoot. This made me go and have a look at his channel. I'm so glad I did. Hang on, Conspiracy Cats. Before you go and have a look at his channel, remember me, it's Russ McGarry. You banned me from Ranty's, Ranty's comment section, and I'm here to tell you I'm angry! Yeah, sorry about that, Russ. But, you know, uh, with great power comes great responsibility and all that. Anyway, let's have a look at Colorado Bingy Bong's channel. Wow, guys, take a look at this incredible TP. What, what about the axes? Mark found near the uh no you're good near the wonderland the bigfoot wonderland bigfoot teepee you got to make sure um you guys check out all the other videos that mark and i have on bigfoot teepees all this moss look this moss has been placed here mark i'm, I'm looking the, the same moss like wow isn't that weird look at this moss that is weird and really cool considering i just found wow. a box of moss in another teepee so I really don't need to say anything else other than what you've just seen. This man finds teepees made by families of Bigfoot who live there and he goes inside and sees what they're having for dinner. But he doesn't have the intelligence to leave a webcam or maybe stay around for a bit for them to come home. So he could maybe take a photograph and make millions of pounds. Um, I'll let you make of that what you will. Now, coming up is the tribute to Ranty, the Globe Hero. Now I can't sing, but I tried. Here you are buddy, this one's for you. He's got a P1000, he ain't afraid to use it. He's got a P1000, he's only afraid he might lose it. But he'll point it at the moon, point it at the stars, point it at Uranus, and he'll point it at Mars. But every time he touches the camera, rant it, proves the glow, he proves the glow. Conspiracy cats, that's rubbish. Let me help. He's right, it was rubbish. And he can help. This is Rapid X. I've linked his channel in the description. There will be a Conspiracy Cats album released on his channel. Don't know when, but it's coming. Keep your eye out. Thank you, Rapid X.